Okay, and a little bit uh, more happy. <laughs> Uh, my name is Sara Saikyun and I'm from Iran. My name is Xiaoyun and I'm from China. Uh, I'm Daniel Mohammed and I'm from Canada. I, uh, I'm Yi Xunxie and I come from China. Um, well, uh, the first thing that caught my attention was uh, the ranking of the university, especially in my field, which is um, telecommunications in general. And also the good thing about this program is that uh, you, when you enter this program, you have like a lot of options. You can go either for like uh, information or network systems. So, you know, you, you still have time to decide exactly which m major you want to focus on. KTH is a very good university and it's popular uh, in Europe and all over the world. So um, I chose Sweden because Swedish people really speak very good English. <laughs> I really liked the like description of the program. And then when I was looking through like the course list, there was um, a large breadth of options, which is hard to find. And like it seemed really geared towards the like current market rather than like maybe technology of five ten years ago which is more standard in your undergraduate programs so that was like the main thing that caught my eye and then also um, the reputation of the university and the uh, number of publications and like the like research community seems really strong as well. Uh, I think uh, KTH is a very great university and it provides all kinds of scholarship to international students and, and in personally I think it's the best in Sweden, so why not? Uh, well, it's been really smooth. Everyone's been really friendly, and I think the arrival services made life really easier for us because uh, everything was programmed, and so we knew exactly what we were going to do when we arrived here. Um, I think Stockholm is a very great place, very great city, and the campus is very beautiful in KTH, and everything is very convenient, and I really like the atmosphere in the class. Um, there's a lot of interactions between students and teachers.